the shift test list component which helps you to shift the indices within the particular list and we left off from here as you remember so let me share my screen with you so now let's draw a two lines here one is this the other is that and let's do something let's divide this let's grab this curve copy this and paste it set one curve and set another curve and let's divide these curves so when we divide these curves what we're going to see is basically the number and the points on top of it and if i grab a point list here on the display menu i'll see that these are like put as like 25 here size in and do this maybe off and do the same for this guy here so what this does is basically now we see the same line 0 1 blah blah to 10 if we want to let's say shift the indices within that particular list what we do is basically we shift this list and we connect it over here and now what we see is zero as it was here is shifted one next indices as to replace one and this is the shift offset so if i put five here let's put it back to zero so if i put it to one you see it goes to one this guy shifts one in this right and if i put two it goes two three three so and so forth and then if i let's say wanted to create sort of a line in between these two right let's say create a line you see they're all being shifted 10 to oops i didn't connect the i couldn't i didn't connect the part one this is not the copy of it so why don't we copy this just to create sort of a straight lines in between so one curve and one curve and if i connect this over here what i'm seeing is now you see it goes here x1 2 and the important thing here with the wrap is it's true and you know what happens if we put it through it goes to zero to zero one to one blah 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 but after seven since we shifted three what three values from eight it cannot go further so it goes back to the eight it goes back to the ten so if i put a toggle here and then say once we are done just don't do anything as you see what it does it's basically put everything to its last shifted value and you see it's not shifting uh over seven so it cuts everything you see when we do this it adds all to the two because we shift that list with eight values kind of it so it's, this is basically what it does and you may see an example of this by using um, sort of um, two circles to create kind of a, if i copy this as a vertical two circles maybe scale this up let's let's stay at the same scale so if i say this set one curve if i put set one curve to this guy you see they are going basically and creating this road surface in between so obviously i need to make this true you see it's creating this list and if i love this guys i will have my surface right click to it soft options closed loft and it's going to be a surface that lands as such so it's completely actually up to you either use this one or the other one but um that is that is pretty that's pretty much it for this video 
and yeah this is pretty much like it's like a cup you know uh kind of a thing and i'll see you in the next one